This is the Library Board of Trustees of Franklin Township. It's Wednesday, October 25th, 2017. There is a quorum present. And uh, so we shall stand and uh, pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll call the roll. Agnes Kulabanya, not here. Iris Kislin, not here. Tom Lennon, present. Nicholas Champa, I'm here. Ed Ward, not here. John Clyde, I'm here. NBC, I'm here. and Mayor Kramer. This meeting is being held in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, commonly known as the Sunshine Law. The schedule and notification of this meeting have been provided to the Courier News, the Home News Tribune, and the Franklin Township Clerk. Copies have been posted in the library's vestibule and are also available at the reference desk. We'd like to open this now to the public portion of the meeting. So moved. Second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 We are now in public session. Is there anyone who would like to? I haven't heard anything to speak about, so I have to defer. Well, we have one member of the public who has recently retired from the Woodbridge <coughs> Library. Seeing no comments from the public, the is there a motion to exit the public the portion? Second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Meeting uh, is back to uh, next on the agenda is approval of the minutes from September 27. I think uh, everybody got a copy. Uh, is there any question about the minutes or? So reviewed. Is there a motion to accept the minutes? NBC Second. and seconded. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? opposed? Because I wasn't here. Abstention. Abstain. Okay. Uh, the the minutes are accepted with one abstention. We'll now uh, hear our director's reports. First, the financial report. Are there any questions? I think you've probably all had a chance to look over the uh, three sheets on the financial reports. No questions. I think we'll move on to the uh, uh, program reports. We had 84 programs and we had 1,372 people. I'd like to particularly point out uh, the Manhattan Short Film Festival that we had, that we got 110 viewers over the uh, showings. And uh, this was something very different for us to do, and we were a little curious as how it was going to turn out, but it turned out very well and it was popular, so we're pleased that we did it. Um, staff members have been going to back to school nights. They've been to all the schools. They get to speak to families and students. They tell them about the library and everything we can do. And those were just the things I wanted to highlight from what I wrote. I don't have anything to add to it. January, I just have one minor question. Sure. Uh, STPL teen CINE. Oh, the teen? What is that, uh, what is that referred to? That's a digital magazine that the ah, teens are going to... Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I 
I was very impressed by the director's report. Any other comments or questions about the director's report? Seeing none, we'll move right along. Next item on the agenda is the president's report. There will be no president's report at this time. I will have something to talk about in executive session. Is there any correspondence or communications? Boy, we're really moving through here. <laughs> That's okay. Is there any old business? We, we have to be very careful about what we're going to talk about in executive session. Some of it is privileged, but I'm worried that we will lapse into discussion that is not privileged. I mean, so no secret that we are working on a southern branch, and no secret that we want the um, the youth center that council is planning to build to include a northern branch. Um, negotiations for property for the southern branch and with the council for the northern branch certainly belong in executive session. Um, Uh, As they will. Right. Uh, I guess, are we going to be just, uh, let me see the agenda for a second. Sorry. Well, the agenda, um, okay. the agenda at the moment just says property negotiation. Right. In executive session. But I guess one thing. You know we're, we're gonna we're gonna talk. I know what I know that we're gonna talk about certain financials about a certain property, and I know we're gonna talk about certain financials for the northern branch. At least I assume that's what we're gonna talk about because I know those are condensing, for lack of a better word, into at least numbers we can start to talk about. One thing I I want to talk about, and I think it's more of an open session thing, is. Given those numbers, which haven't been discussed yet, do we have the financial capability yeah. to do the southern branch? I mean, do we have the business plan to do the southern and northern branch? So not only build the buildings, or build one building, but furnish both buildings, have people to run the buildings. Um, you know, maybe basically have the cash flow to do both of these branches. I think certainly before we were to buy property, we would want to make sure we are able to do that. Um, and I don't know if, you know, it's, it's hard to discuss one without the executive session information, but I also don't think in executive session we should be discussing all of that because the public has a right to know that part. See, there's limited reasons you can go into executive session. One of them is negotiation. So certainly negotiations with the council for the northern branch and a property owner for the southern branch, that's absolutely appropriate for executive session. Sorry. Um, but um, discussing a business plan is not executive session material. I cannot think of a category under which it would go under executive session. So, I, I, and I bring all this up because driving here I envisioned how this executive session is going to go, and I, I, I saw it going that way into discussing business plan, and I don't... It is not convenient to separate them. So I, I think maybe what we should do is have the executive session discuss the monies that might be covered during the executive session and then be prepared to come out into general session to discuss business plan. Does that sound 
reasonable, Mr. President? After executive session, um, uh, I don't see any reason why the why an item cannot be added to the agenda. Um, this does say on the very top, preliminary agenda. So that means to me that any board member can bring up a new subject to discuss. And uh, during executive session, uh, certainly if uh, any of us go into an area where any other of us feel we shouldn't be going, speak up. And I think that's the best I can do at the moment. Sure. I, I didn't um, anticipate discussion of a general business plan. Um, uh, I had three questions, which um, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll ask them now, and I'll defer if anybody says hold that off until after the executive session. Uh, my first question is, is what is the amount of surplus funds that the library board currently has? Uh, do we have money sitting in some sort of surplus account? Oh, gosh, How much that could be used? We do, but that's products? absolutely public information. Yes. So that that. You want me to ask that? Ask, why, get an why don't you ask all three? Okay. The second one uh, is with regards to staffing. Would we be pretty much able to replicate what is currently spent on staffing and furnishings for the current Franklin Park branch in the new branch? It's just a question of moving staff and materials from one branch to the other. And the third branch, and this is maybe more account, council question for the city council is, uh, has, has there been thought given to perhaps making use of the facilities across Franklin Boulevard in uh, Hillcrest School, Franklin Middle School, uh, you know, for nighttime, to use those existing facilities for the southern or for the northern community center? So, I can answer, I guess I can answer that. Land has already been purchased and the building demolished for the youth center. Okay. Was that, those properties ever discussed? They were, but this is the direction we went. Okay. Um, one thing is, while it's only a few blocks away, it's a few blocks closer to the population in need. Although they do walk to school, but um, <coughs> yeah. Okay. If there are any? If there are no should other I, I, those other two questions, yeah. Yes, there is a surplus. It's five million dollars. It's been set aside for a building for the southern branch. And staffing, we wouldn't be replicating the Franklin Park branch exactly because the northern branch would be smaller. Oh. Oh, yes. No, but I think he's asking the, the new southern branch versus the current southern branch. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'd be able to move the staff and the certainly the current furnishings and everything that's there. We'd have to add to it a little bit because it's going to be a bigger space. Okay. But, yes, that's, that's what we'd be doing. Thank but you, Jane. But Thank it's, you, at some point, we're going to need to really take pen to paper and look at all those costs and the cost of moving and um, how much um, how much are, do we add to surplus per year? Mm -hmm. So in other words, how much excess money do we have per year? Is that going to be enough to fund the northern branch? and? anything additional in the southern branch and a little bit of extra money so that we're we're not living paycheck to paycheck etc so all i'm saying is before we i mean the northern branch clearly we can afford by itself if we didn't change with the southern branch but um before we jump in to the southern branch and purchase property we need to really know that we can afford not just to purchase the property and build the building, but to operate three branches.
hard to argue with that. <laughs> However, it's also very difficult to, at the moment, put hard numbers on all of those pieces. Uh, one thing is we don't know what the total cost of our, uh, our replacement southern branch is going to be because we haven't even purchased the land yet. We haven't even agreed on an exact price to purchase right. the land. And after we purchase the land, we have to go to an architect, and at that point, we'll get a much better idea of what the uh, building costs will be. Right, but so, right, right now, uh, so I have learned recently, at least the number that they are using for the youth center is $400. $400, a square, yes. A square foot. So we know our square footage. We can make a ballpark estimate. And, we can. And um, we then can do something similar for the northern branch, et cetera. So we, we have numbers to work with. They are not final numbers, but they are numbers to work with to, to see if, oh my God, we can't afford this, or yeah, looks like we might be able to. So, um, as, as you recall, the reason for moving away from our rented southern branch is to free up operating money right. that hopefully will help us enable the northern branch. Right. So, unfortunately, it's a sequence of events and um, right. very difficult to make exact predictions. But I do certainly agree that uh, we can't jump into a northern branch if we don't know that uh, we'll be able to staff it. I'm not worried about constructing it. But the ongoing, the next 5, 10, 20 years, it must be staffed. And that's what... Uh, um, so I mainly I wanted to have this that discussion in open session because I felt like it needed to be discussed and I felt like after we talk about the numbers I expect to hear in closed session it would be natural to discuss those things but it wouldn't be appropriate to discuss it in closed session you see my dilemma so now it's been discussed in open session so we're free to to proceed in my eyes okay with transparency okay so we are at uh, old business, I guess. And uh, is there any other old business? Can we move on to new business? There's a proposed holiday closing schedule for 2018. January, would you like to uh, make any comments? What I've done is I've put um, the current holiday closings for two 2017 on the left, and the 2018 ones on the right, so you can see that it's actually the same holidays. The days of the week change a little bit as the holidays move around, and that's basically it. Placeholder just means uh, it holds the place for those holidays that sometimes fall on the weekend, so the legal holiday comes during the week. This year, there aren't uh, 2018, there aren't any, so it just says placeholders, just so the, the column stays steady. Is there any uh, comment on uh, which holidays we have, which holidays we don't have, or anything else of the sort? So it's interesting, unless I'm, well, I guess the two religious holidays we close for are Good Friday and Christmas. We don't close for the Jewish holidays or um, Muslim holidays or then obviously for the hundreds of other religions out there. Um, that discussion has come up about schools as to what's appropriate to call for, but I guess that's a different situation. You have programs going on, education going on. If you don't close and someone's observing their holiday, they're missing it. Here you're more or less, in a way, closing for staff's benefit. Um, I, I guess you could say that. I mean, because if someone wants to come on Christmas, 
you know, yeah. it's not, you know, it's not, oh, we need to close on Christmas so people won't miss what's going on in the library. Mm -hmm. So then I do notice some of your staff here are uh, Asian. I don't know, I don't know what their religious persuasion are. So I'm being politically correct here. Should we, should we be thinking broader or not? And, and that's a really debatable question. I'm looking at you January only because I really think this is your bailiwick. Well, I, I was talking to Nick about this before. Once you start, yeah. there's a lot of religious holidays. Yep. Um, there's a lot of religions out there. Ask me. And I've always been very... At least I know. Yeah. In my country, there's 18 different religious things. Are these um, two religious holidays, holidays, holidays yeah. no. that are are on here? Uh, basically, Good Friday and uh, Christmas. Uh, are they federal holidays? I don't think some of them are. Some of them are Christmas, not. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas must be. Yeah, and Martin Luther King. King. I don't know about. I think Good Friday. Martin I know it's a state Christmas. holiday. For state workers. Camp, well, I, I know I don't get it off at work, so I don't know if, how that bears on whether it's... We seem to be modeling on it, what it, the state holidays are with the exception of Columbus Day. Right. Yeah, that's, I think that's what it was originally based on was the state holidays. If you'd like, I'd be happy to supply the, or email you. What the hospital observes as holidays, there are certain ones, and, and the reason why I just bring up hospital is because they have such a diverse population within the institution mm -hmm. yes. that they're very sensitive to the percentages and to the people that Im are employed there. And I think this is where we're, we're addressing for our employees, because if you were to say this, well, these are holidays, that's when someone would like to use the library because they're often they're not at work, but we want to respect our employees as well. So if you'd like, I'd be happy to supply that list and we can use it as a divining rod to, to look at our dates. Well, what occurs to me is that it's Mayor Kramer's point that the purpose of uh, having holidays that respect a person's uh, religion is more for the staff here. Yeah. Is there a staff policy that provides that uh, people can take off yes. a uh, religious holiday yes. of their own? Yes. Okay, so as far as that part of it, they can okay. take it as a vacation day or a personal day. Personal right, day, but yeah. they then lose that vacation day, personal yes. day. So yes. one could argue the Christian doesn't have to do that, but the Muslim or Jew does. Yes, we do I, have. You're right. I'm Greek Orthodox. I'm Christian. Right. My God is not with the Catholic right. Church. Right, and 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 I don't argue with right. that. Right. Yeah, I know, I and that's, it. that's and that's the difficulty. I keep on the same schedule. That's all. That's the difficulty of this too. situation. Yeah. Every four or five years we have Easter together, not always. Yeah. So I brought it up and I will That's yield why we don't play with that. Thing. I will lead, yield this. to your leadership. How many personal days is one permitted here? If you're full time, you get two. Two. I just, I'll just throw it on out. Many corporations, and I, I'm not speaking for the hospital right now, everything's offered in, P, it's called PTO. Everyone gets, a, you have a, you have a, a, a bank, a, it's your sick, your vacation, your holidays, and that's what's fiscally decided upon as to what the corporation or the business can uh, afford, and people can use them any way they want for whatever holiday they want. To be honest with you, I don't like PTO. I think it leads to abuse of sick time. I think sick time is when you're sick. Yeah, I agree. Well, we have a proposed holiday closing schedule. There's been no motion, and yet we've already discussed it, which would usually follow a motion. Um, is there anyone who would like to make a motion with regard to this proposed holiday closing? Is this the same to the township? Mayor, to your knowledge, I don't know if you... I wouldn't expect you necessarily to know that. 
I know the library is a little different. Well, obviously the weekend. Yeah, the Saturday. Yes, yeah, see, we're different because we're open seven days a week. Right. But well, with the exception of that, it appears. Ninety-nine percent. Yeah, I don't. I don't see. I don't see anything here that I think that. I, oh, I think we do get Columbus Day. At the township, well, and we get sense. election day. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking. Well, I, I, and and the holidays are all contractual. It's all negotiated. Uh, well, this is not union. It's not unionized here. It's not unionized. Okay. But it's it's part of the personnel manual. It's in the personnel manual. The number of holidays. I mean, I'm tempted to say maybe an additional personal day that can be used. Uh, to accommodate this, but instead I'm going to uh, move to approve this as drafted for the second. I approve it. There's a motion on the floor, and it's yes. been seconded. Yes. Um, we should discuss it, although, in fact, we already have. Yes. Is there any further discussion on this motion? I can be talked out of my position. I'm on the edge, kind of. Seeing no further discussion. I would like to call the question. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed? The mo the motion passes. That's okay. <laughs> motion passes. Okay. I think that's reasonable. I just think it needed to be discussed. Yeah, yeah I, I, and and I, I apologize for my abuse of Robert's rules. I should have waited till the motion. Correct. Since I'm such a stickler at council meetings about it. That wasn't your fault. That was the leader's fault. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Continuing education well, for trustees. Um, the older members know this. The newer members may not. There is a requirement that board of trustee members fulfill uh, continuing education requirements of seven hours a year for the whole board. Okay. Um, and I've been looking all year, trying to find decent videos or whatever that you could view to, to get these seven hours in. Uh, the good part about the, the bad part about the law is that if you don't fulfill a requirement, we don't get our state aid. The good part is it's up to the library to decide how you're going to fulfill the continuing education. So what I've started, I did this, uh, actually Nick did one earlier this year when he sent out the Robert Rules. That was one article, and I, I'm going to allow everybody five minutes to read it, and we'll count up as number of board members. Now, this time I sent out two articles and a glossary of library acronyms and terms. And again, I would expect that each person would spend about five minutes reading the, each one. And then if anybody wants to discuss either any of these, we can do that too, and that'll add up towards our total. If anybody has been to a library, or I think Iris goes sometime, or has done anything outside of the meetings uh, connected with libraries, you should let me know because I would count that in. And I will keep looking for the next two meetings to try and find some sort of an educational video that you can watch. Um, but otherwise, I'll just I'll find more articles that'll count towards the total, and it's again seven hours for the entire board. Doesn't sound very <laughs> onerous, except that glossary was uh, a lot of terms well, in that. Didn't you like the, the glossary has some outdated terms in it? But yeah. I thought it would be useful some stuff. Yeah, there, there's, yeah. I, I I enjoyed laughing at some. Uh, I took a tour of the Bar Harbor Main Library prior to uh, hearing a speech from Senator Angus King. This year? This year. Oh, that's great. Ten I minutes. have some things I'll say. I think it's 15. <laughs> <laughs> and how long do you think you were there? Well, I, I don't think it would be fair. I, mean, I, I was there for Senator King's speech and talk. Uh, I was there tour? for probably about an hour and a half. Did you tour the library at all? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. The tour of the library probably took uh, 15 minutes. Okay, fine. Thank you. 
certainly it's good to learn as much as we can about libraries and um, the, the state library has a website with lots of information and so I'd encourage you all to look into that. Generally, what about the time I spent with you getting oriented? I had a orientation with you. Oh, that's you. right. Yeah. Okay. That was probably a half hour. I forgot about that. Thank you. John's doing his part. I'm going to go down to the Franklin Park branch and tour that. Yeah, let me know if you do. Okay. And if anybody else new wants to have an orientation, uh, Tom, yeah, you uh, certainly can. You're the mayor. You've never had a tour. Never. You're certainly welcome. Let me know. I'll be happy to do it. Okay. Next item on the agenda calls for going into executive session. And this preliminary agenda says property negotiation. And, uh, there will also be anticipated discussion about another branch. An additional branch. Northern, I think we can say Northern Branch. Northern negotiation. Branch. Negotiation. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Is there a I motion to come, motion out of to come out of executive, executive session? Second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we are now in regular session. I would uh, make a couple of independent motions. Uh, uh, number one, that we seek a cost analysis of uh, operating costs for possibility of having three library branches, uh, the branch we're currently in, the main branch, a new southern branch, and a possible Northern Branch in conjunction with the proposed uh, Franklin Youth Community Center. That's number one. I'll do them separately. Okay. Okay. Is there anyone who would like to second that motion? That motion is seconded. All right. Is there any discussion on this motion? No. Seeing no discussion. I would, I would, I would solicit some discussion from January, our director. Um, does this sound like something that we have enough information to proceed with? Yes and no. The answer, <laughs> <laughs> the answer on the, co of, yeah. the cost analysis on the northern branch depends on how many hours it's going to be open. Yeah. That changes everything. Absolutely. Yeah. So I can do it. I guess I could do it a couple of ways. Do it. Yeah. different hours um, and see how it comes out. You're talking about the possible need for more evening hours? The opening. Oh, I'm talking <laughs> about the possible need that maybe it wouldn't be open. Uh, this building is open, I can't remember, 61 hours a week. Uh, that it would be open less hours than that because this is open for four nights a week in the weekends. Uh, the, even the southern branch isn't open that often. The southern branch is uh, Monday through Thursday and Saturday. So I could do it, I could do one based on that, the same as that, with two evenings and half a day on Saturday. Or I could do another one uh, with even less hours, scaled down version. Yes. Okay. That, that sounds that would be, uh, that would be great. Okay. Is there any other discussion on this? Uh, I'll call the roll all in favor of passing John's motion, signify by saying aye. 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 This motion is passed. Are there any other motions? John? Oh, uh, I didn't do the, appra oh, the appraisal. <laughs> uh, I move that we seek an appraisal on the proposed uh, property that was discussed in executive session. For I will second Southern that. Bridge. I will <laughs> second that. In discussion, um, I would suggest that uh, we ask Bob Vornlocker, who's the most appropriate appraiser to do this job, and also that we do it in pretty quick time frame. Um, I, would, I would also note, and I think we can do this without violating executive session, that uh, 
this method of procedure w w was proposed by the township manager, Mr. Gorenlocker, consistent with township uh, policies. Yes, I agree. Okay. Is there any other discussion on this motion? Um, those in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Those opposed? No. And then the final motion. <coughs> okay. At the request of the uh, distinguished and honorable mayor of Franklin Township in order to uh, address these issues, and it, 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 I, I, if it's good with everybody else, a special library board meeting to be scheduled uh, for, uh, what do you say, November 9th. Well, <laughs> Is that okay with everybody? That's a. Th we have one already. Sixteenth. Yeah. Too much. Now, do you just want to stick with the fifteenth? I can withdraw. So, I'm sorry. I keep saying the sixteenth. The fifteenth. That's yeah. three weeks from today. Yeah, stick with the fifteenth. I withdraw. Fifteenth is good. It hasn't been seconded, so you don't have to withdraw. Yeah. <laughs> So, we will confirm then that the next meeting date is November 15th. Is there a motion to adjourn? Before we do, does the board want me to call Bob, Bob Vornlocker tomorrow and ask him for the name of an appraiser? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Or, uh, or if you wish, I can do that. You want to do it? Yes, That's I'll do good. that. That's good. Okay. Um, does somebody, me or somebody else, want to call uh, the realtor and let them know what's happening? That we're going to have an appraisal done first? You can do that. You can contact me. Yeah. Okay. Yes, since you were in on the conference call, okay. I think you should do that. But I, I will contact. Uh, You'll do Bob, I'll do the other one. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll come s maybe see him in person tomorrow. Okay. And uh, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you, folks. I'm running a little bit late. I have to skip. What time okay. is it? It's a uh, quarter to seven. Okay. Yeah. It's a good time today. Huh? It's a good time today. <laughs> um, what's scheduled for this room tomorrow? Um, probably nothing. The mornings are usually open. Okay, so can I just on, nice thank you. A pleasure. Finish this. Yes, please. Tomorrow. Just come and get the key. Ask, ask them at the right desk for the key. Were you in his line? Just of come in and do it. Okay. I don't think there's anybody in the road. Okay. Oh, we have to right turn this on. So let me tell you a quick little story. So we discovered the home, uh, and we were talking about.